What's going on guys? Big Brother Trucking here. And uh, today, I'm going to be showing y'all my ghetto APU. That's right. I'm turning my truck off after a long uh, day of driving. No more idling. I'm saving my fuel. I'm saving the engine, the life of my truck. I know some people may say these trucks are made to uh, run forever, but uh, after you after I've, I've spent uh, um, over thirty thousand for a, a new uh, engine rebuild, uh, I, I don't, I'm, I don't uh, agree with that. <laughs> but anywho, this is mainly for owner operators. Uh, you can get you some cold AC uh, for less than two Gs. Turn the truck off at night and be and be cold. This is a, a seven thousand BTU um, air conditioner. Um, it exhausts, it uses one exhaust uh, outlet. It, it pushes the hot air from the cab uh, outside. So what I normally do, I set it right here and I'll like kind of keep the curtain closed at the top and kind of like right here a little bit, not trying to block the, the intake where it sucks in the air. At. And uh, it'll be cool back here. And what I found out is like if I open like, It'll be open about this much, and then when I, if I need to come up here for any reason, man, it's hot in this just this area right here, this cab area, and back there it's cold. So this thing will drop down about 60 degrees, uh, is what it says. And uh, uh, like last night, it got pretty cold, so I, I put it on 75, uh, and that was cool. Um, so I probably, I probably will, I probably won't put it back down to, to 60 again, maybe. Uh, when I first turn it on, but then when I get to bed, when I actually, you know, about to close my eyes and get off the phone, I'll turn it to 75. And what I did notice was on my, I'll take y'all outside in a minute, but on my generator, um, it has a eco mode on it. And I'll show y'all that where if, when it's pulling a certain wattage, when it's not pulling, doesn't need the wattage, it'll idle itself down. So what I did notice is when I turned this to 75 degrees, it, I heard the generator back there it idled down, so that means that's uh, less the compressor is turning on. So I'm gonna find a sweet spot. Um, now with the setup I got, uh, I got a Honda generator and an external tank. Now I watched a video on a, a guy had a camper on um, on um, he had a camper and he was uh, running a 15,000 BTU. And he, and he ran it for uh, 30 some, 38 hours, I believe, on a 15,000 BTU. Now, that's pretty good. Um, and this one is a 7,000, so it should be, it should give me a little bit longer than 40 hours. That's what I would think. But again, I'm gonna play with it, with the, uh, with the temperatures to see kind of what's a good temperature to put it at, have it at while, you know, so that it can, you know, idle down and things like that, get, get the best, um, uh, range on that generator um now as far as savings goes uh check my truck after running for like 10 hours one night and i got up it was saying 0 0.6 gallons an hour that's what it was using so if you do the math on that uh in a week i think i mean in one night i think that's about 25 bucks a night so if we do that five days if i do that for five days um looking at a month about 600 bucks roughly 600 bucks to idle this truck versus this um uh, it cost me 27 bucks to fill up the external tank and um and a gallon and uh and it's six bucks 27 bucks to fill up the external tank which was six gallons and then it, then it cost me uh, another gallon to fill up the generator. So looking at a total of seven gallons uh, there. So about about thirty bucks. Now that thirty bucks will give me if I do that once a week. Fill that up once a week. We're looking at what two hundred some bucks a month. That's a lot better than six hundred six hundred dollars a month. Um, again, also I'll be I'll be saving my engine. Uh, and DEF, I don't have to worry about it doing regens and soot level getting all high and stuff like that. 
So you, you save it on, on death and you save it on fuel. So, but yeah, that's that's it. Uh, when when I, I don't drive with it like this, obviously, I take the little template me and my wife made. I'll take that out of the truck. But um, like if I'm in a if I'm in a receiver or a ship or whatever, ship or receiver, I will uh, I will if I want to be there for a while, I'll put this on. And sometimes I'll drive around like this because y'all can see I can still see out the window. At my mirrors, I mean, yeah, through the window, so I'm pretty much good there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, while I'm driving, I'll take it out. Eh, whatever. Um, I use an extension cord to go around to the back. I use this. Uh, it uh, ravels up, whatever. Um, but I just, I just kind of keep it like this until I'm ready to clean it up. Uh, that's a gallon fuel tank this is what i use when i go to the uh gas pump whenever i'm getting diesel i'll go around to the gas side i'll put gas in there and bring that back to the generator so i don't have to carry the heavy generator all the way to the fuel pumps so let me take y'all outside Outside, and all that's happening is hot air is being blown uh, through that tube right there outside. That's all it does. Ooh, and boom, here it is. This is the generator. Um, take this off for a second video. I got it turned this way, I had it turned around the other way, but. I was, this is the exhaust, I was, when I had it turned around the other way, uh, where you can see all the, the other stuff, the interface and everything. Uh, when I had it turned the other way, when I was sleeping, I could smell the exhaust. And uh, guys, you definitely want to be careful to get your carbon monoxide. I got to get a carbon monoxide detector. Uh, but I think it'd be fine. It was just uh, just the fumes. So I turned it this way and it, I didn't really smell anything. Uh, turn it this way. Yeah, not this way there. So, um, this is the uh, external tank. I got this just mounted here on the frame like this. And I got a safe, uh, a bike chain on here. Not a chain, but whatever this thing called. For securement, this thing ain't going nowhere. And I also got one going around my generator. And um, got this ratcheted down. It does not it hit, it's, it clears it pretty good. Um, so nowhere in there. Huh. Oh, this one. Let me take y'all to the other side so I can show y'all the interface. The interface of it. Yeah, this is a 2200 uh, generator, 200, 222 uh, peak watts. It's 1800 running, running watts on this thing. And um, see, it has an eco mode here. Now, turn this eco mode will save you fuel on this thing because it, it idles down when it's not when it's not using a big draw. Um, so again, if you turn this on, and when the compressor comes off, you'll hear this idle down. But when the compressor kicks in you hear this rev up. But if you have it off, it'll just automatically be revved up. Uh, whatever. It's also got a, a carbon monoxide detector on it built into this machine. So this machine will shut down if it's uh, detecting high levels of carbon monoxide. This is the pull start. Uh, you gotta turn, it, turn this on. Here's the on. If you're gonna be letting it sit, here's an engine switch uh, to, to clear, get the water out the carburetor, and that's off. Uh, this is Bluetooth, and it connects to my Bluetooth, and while I'm in the bed, I can see uh, how many hours uh, is on this machine. I can see when it needs the oil change. Um, I can turn this, actually turn this off from my phone as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, a pull star right here. I just go around there and pull that one time. It was easier access to pull it from this side, but again, I wanted to 
fumes to be blowing out that way, so that's why I turned it that way. So yeah, it rides, it rides perfect right there, man. It rides perfect, man. Uh, that generator was um, about uh, I think eleven or twelve hundred bucks, brand new. I could have went with the Harbor Freight brand, like some guys do on YouTube. But I was just like, I have the money. Why am I being cheap? I know Honda is reliable. Um, so I went on ahead and spent the extra money. Now, I will tell you the Harbor Freight, the same wattage, you can get two of these for the price. You can get two of the Harbor Freights for the price of one of these. So, I mean, what, what does that tell you? But uh, yeah, guys, so far so good. I think it's a good investment. It's gonna pay for itself uh, in a couple months for sure. Um, and I just, I bought this stuff on, uh, this on Amazon. Here's that, find it on Amazon. And uh, bought this from uh, Northern Tool. And bought all the uh, other little stuff from Walmart. Little, little security chains and stuff, so. But yeah, guys, that's it, my ghetto APU. Let me know if, if I missed anything you guys wanna know about. Uh, just uh, leave a comment and I'll, I'll maybe make another video talking more in depth. But yeah, there it is, guys. Less than less than two thousand dollars, and I have cold AC, and I'm saving my truck. I'm saving fuel. I'm saving money. Uh, so yeah, um, my plan on when when it starts cooling back down, I'll probably take this off and set it in my garage at home. I probably won't even use it. Uh, just just won't need it when it starts cooling down. My truck is equipped with a, a bunk heater, so I don't have to run the truck at all there. So, all right, guys. Y'all be safe. Peace out.